The devastation on the water was easy to see. Within weeks of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, University of Georgia marine scientist Samantha Joy and her team were out on the water training their expert eyes under the surface of the Gulf of Mexico, probing the oil and gas plumes floating beneath them. I think that there's going to be a lot of impact from the spill in the deep water and deep sediments and I think there might be a lot of gas in the water. Working with a rapid response grant from the National Science Foundation, Joy embarked on a two-week research cruise. The work and the smells could be intense. It was nauseating. Her team tracked a plume about 20 miles long, three miles wide, and hundreds of feet below the surface. The gas concentrations are outrageously high. We measure concentrations up to 100,000 times what we typically see in the Gulf of Mexico. Joy says methane gas could create more dead zones in the Gulf by choking off deep water ecosystems. Marine microbes feast on the oil, but in the process they suck up most of the oxygen, killing plants and animals. And these ecosystems, um, the one thing that they need that can be taken away by this oil spill is oxygen. Joy is also troubled by the dispersants used to break up the oil. You've already got a big problem. You're, you're spewing oil and gas into the system. Why do you amplify that by adding this unknown? All the researchers say they felt a real sense of urgency when the sampling bottles reached the deck. It was pretty much, you know, all units to stations, let's get the water, let's start analyzing. I can't believe this water that looks clear, smells so much like gas. One night, one rescued bird put the devastation into perspective for the team. Animals like that bird, whales and sea turtles and fish and every organism that inhabits the Gulf of Mexico is being exposed to an atrocity. Joy says the oil and gas that cannot be seen is more difficult to track and understand. And diligent ongoing studies of these ecosystems will be crucial to the Gulf's long-term recovery. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.